Hey guys, welcome back. This is Anya. This video, I'd like to talk about the JK Inverter BMS V19 Vista V15 and to see the details of it. This is the V19 new version from the JK BMS. This is the previous JK BMS of the V15. Actually, from the first, from the packing, there's no any difference. Uh, it is all the same pack. And uh, let's to see. Uh, first is the screens. Let's to compare the screens of the previous type and the new type. For the new type, it is uh, more thin of the display screen. It is a very beautiful screen with the thin design. You can have a detailed look of it. Yes, this is the V19 new version of the JKBMS. The, the display is very very beautiful compared to the previous one. And let me to show you the details of the previous uh, JKBMS display screen. It is all uh, in the same size. It's a 4.3 inch display. Yes, this is a previous design of the JK 4.3 inch display. Compared to the new version, you can have a detailed look of it. This one, the new version is more thin, and it is more thicker, more thicker. This is a new version. The new version didn't have the black cover, black cover. It all, it, it is with the circuit of PCB. Yeah. Actually, from the display, the new version is more beautiful from the appearance. This is the JK 4.3 screens upgrade. The, they upgrade to the new, uh, new one of more thin and more beautiful in the display. And secondly, let's to see the main board of the BMS. This is the previous design. Previous. The previous is in this way, and uh, you can see the label. The label is JKPB2A16S20P. The continued current is 200 ampere. Peak discharge current is 350, and it supports 8 to 16 series. It is the as previous. Let's to see the next one. Yes, this is the new version. The new version. First, let's to see the uh, the label. The label is also JKPB2A16S20P, and uh, with the continued discharge is 200 ampere, and peak discharge is the 350 ampere. From label, actually, there is no any difference. You can have a detailed look of it. You can have a detailed look of it. Yeah, no difference. Uh, this one is the new version of the V19, and this one is a previous, the old version. And uh, compared to the appearance, actually there is no any difference. There is no any difference for the new version and old version. Uh, the only difference is the the new version. They it has the UART port. It has the UART port. You are put actually a, a for the customer. There is no any difference. Yes, uh, it is only a a, a port and uh, communicate for communication. And the second difference is the heating port for the JKBMS. It is with the heating function. Uh, for the previous, it is with the it is with the socket design. It is with the socket design. But for the new version, it is to with the screws to uh, lock the screws. So this is the difference of the two point at the board. Yes, first is the new board has a UART, UART design, and uh, the and secondly is they change the the heating port. They change the heating socket to the heating uh, to lock the screws. Yes, this is the two point difference on the main board. And for others, let's choose the 
if they have the difference on the other on the other port. Uh, this is the new version of the communication board, and uh, let's to see the the old design of the communication board. This is the new this is the new version, and this is the old. From the appearance, actually, there's no difference. No difference. Let's choose, let's to see the wire inside the, the uh, old version and the new version to see if they have difference. Uh, this is the old design I showed you guys before. Uh, the net wire, uh, the communication board wire, and this is the this is the heating pad wire. You can see the, the socket. Yes, this is for old version. And for the new version, this one, this is for the UART. This is for the UART. The UART port wire is to connect to the display screen and the mainboard. Here is the new version and the UART. Please make sure the UART port of the wire, the black should be the first one to socket here. To socket here. Black wire first, then is the blue wire. Next one is the yellow, green, black, and red. It has this one. This is the heating pad wire. Heating pad wire. Uh, just I told you guys that their heating function, uh, the, this socket, they change to the screws. Then you need to use this wire. This point to to uh, to lock here and another side to lock to the heating pad. Yes, this is the uh, wire difference. And the others is no any difference. Let's to install the new version of BMS into our battery pack to see the details. Let's go. Okay, here we install the new JK inverter BMS into our battery pack. Uh, you can see this is the 50.2 voltage, 280 amp hour lithium phosphate battery pack, which is made by the brand new gray AEV cell. Compared to the previous BMS, actually there is no big changes. Only is they have UART port, UART port, and the connection to the screens. The change is the uh, display screen. The display screen is more thin compared to the previous, as I showed you before. And uh, let's to start the BMS. Okay, then you can see the details of it, the group, the packs, and uh, the setting. For the for the screens, firstly, it become from appearance, the display become more beautiful of the appearance. Uh, this is the uh, the glues, which uh, 3M glues, uh, which means you just to tear off the film and uh, you can just to paste mm -hmm. here. It is more easy for some um, for someone who only do the DIY. And uh, secondly. Let's to see the details of the BMS. Uh, here shows the voltage, the discharge current. At present, this BMS still didn't discharge, so there shows the zero. And the remain power is 69%. Uh, and here is the 280 amp hour. This is the rated capacity. Uh, this is the remain capacity is 193. Uh, max of the cell is 3.2 voltage. Maximum voltage of the cell is here. And the temperature and the alarm. This alarm is means uh, because this um, the password of the BMS didn't, didn't change, so they have alarm. Uh, you can ignore this alarm. This is charge. On, discharge on this is the charge card and the discharge card is on packs this there is only for one packs so there is one okay let's to see the packs so 
the pack is only one piece. If you uh, make the parallel of the pack, there will have the uh, different parallel here one by one. For the details, I show in this video, you can see the details of it. And let's to see the setting. Here is the setting is may change of it. So you can run the display to check the cam proto, which means for example, that many customer they will ask if the BMS can be suitable for their inverters. So you can check the inverters here by different brand like De Ye, Growart, Victron, Magnet, and uh, our next page is Goodway FS, FSS Master Luxure Power. So you can choose it which your BMS it is. And uh, this is the uh, different uh, different uh, protocol you can choose four eight five. Actually, there is no much changes compared to the previous. The only difference is add um added UART port. Many customer will ask the what is the UART port. UART is a communication proto used to achieve a signal's serious communication between the device. It transmits data through two wires, text and text, without the need of the lock signal summonization. UART itself doesn't UART itself doesn't define specific level standards, but focus on serious transmission of the data. So, actually, there is no big changes because I uh, told the different guys uh, with the J in the JK company. They told us actually there is no big changes. Maybe the big change is the screens. Yeah, screens compared to the before is is more beautiful. Before this video, I have I had a problem with the new display. The display didn't show the voltage. After I communicated with the JK factory and solved this problem, the main problem is that the JK app we didn't up up upgraded to the five point version so uh, when you have the new version of the jkbms the main issue you need to upgrade your jk app to the five point version so you can use this display freely another main point is uh, the the this wire the display wire with the BMS mainboard wire. Please make sure each of uh, the two terminal is different. The design of the two terminal is is all the same. If you didn't uh, check the wire well, uh, you may you will have the problems. So please make sure uh, you connect the wire in this way. Black. Uh, the white, black, yellow, green, black, red. In this way, if you turn another side, there will have problems uh, because when we assemble, we we meet this problem. So this is a very easy point. Uh, the customer will uh, go problems. When problems, uh, we also are provide our opinion to JK BMS and uh, to ask the, if they can do. A different terminal because these t these two uh, these two circuit circuit they uh, they design is the same. It is a little bit hard for customer to identify uh, which side of the terminal is should be in the correct uh, up, uh, position. So this is the point that you guys will pay attention to.
Okay, above is the introduction for the JK new version of the BMS for you guys to check. Actually, at present, the JK still didn't have the bulk production for this V19 version of the BMS. Yes, this is still in the experimental stage. At present, we still didn't suggest the customer to order because at present, you know, the, pro the product still in the experimental experimental stage and you buy it there there will have much problems just the way meet in previous that due to the version of app didn't upgrade and it didn't show the voltage on voltage on the uh, display screen in this situation so we will recommend the customers still to choose the old version when the uh, new version of the bulk production released, then we will recommend the customer to buy. I hope this video can help you guys to know more details about the JK new version of the BMS. If you are interested in more details about the JK new version BMS, contact us freely and we will send you the new type of the specification for reference. Okay, thank you for you guys watching the video. See you next time. Bye.